Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time, and in response to a request, I'm going to present my top five single board computers 2017. OK, so you probably know which single board computer is going to win, but can you guess the rest of the list? At number five on my list of the top single board computers 2017, I've put this, the Tinkerboard. This is made by ASUS, which makes it the first single board computer from a major computer manufacturer. And it's a fairly powerful machine. It's got a price that reflects that. The street price of the Tinkerboard is currently about $60 or £55. The machine is based on a rock chip RK3288 system on a chip which has got a quad-core ARM Cortex-A17 CPU running it up to 1.8 GHz, and it's got an ARM Mali T760 GPU. And one of the key things about the Tinkerboard, one of the reasons it's on my list here, is that through the HDMI socket here, it can output 4K video, at least full-screen 4K video, at up to 30 frames a second. Also a big feature of this board is it's got gigabit Ethernet, it's got 2 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and it's a nice board if you want a bit more power than a Raspberry Pi, although you pay a bit more for that. In terms of software, this runs like most single board computers, a form of Linux. It's got its own Tinker OS at the moment, which is now running pretty well. Early versions of a Tinkerboard OS were not quite so good, but it's now quite and stable, a nice operating system. And there's a good version of Android also for the Tinkerboard. And I'm also pleased to report, as I showed in a recent video, you can run Kodi now well on a Tinkerboard, at least up to a 1080p. So for me, the Tinkerboard is a nice machine. It's a quality piece of hardware, and it's a great single board computer to use as a media player. At number four on my list of the top single board computers 2017, I've put this machine here. This is a Banana Pro which is a single board computer I've rather ignored in the past few years. I wish I hadn't. I really like the Banana Pro. It's a really nice machine. It's made by Lee Maker. It's got a street price of about $50 or £40. And it's based on an A20 system on a chip with a dual core ARM Cortex A7 CPU running it up to 1.2 GHz and a Mali 400 GPU. It's got a gigabyte of RAM and it is DDR3 RAM. In terms of connectivity, you've got two USB 2 ports over here, but also a USB 2 OTG port. And you've also got gigabit Ethernet. But the killer thing about this board, as you probably noticed, is it's got a SATA port on a $50 single board computer. And it's also got a SATA power connector. And what this means is you can take a special SATA lead. This is a special SATA lead. And you can plug in this special SATA lead, make sure you get one if you get a Banana Pro, and you can plug it into here. And that means you can connect directly to an SSD, to a two and a half inch drive. And in fact, you can connect to a three and a half inch drive if you want, but you'd have to power the three and a half inch drive separately. So this is a, a lovely little board. It runs all sorts of versions of Linux. It runs Raspbian, it runs Android, its own thing called Bananian, it runs Armbian, and it can also run Open Media Vault, which is really useful if you want to build a NAS with this unit. And indeed, I think the great thing about the Banana Pro, it's a good single board computer to pick if you want to build a NAS or any other form of application that would make great use of the SATA port. At number three on my list, wait for it, I have put this, the Latte Panda. Now, the Latte Panda is a higher end single board computer, it comes in two versions, the standard version, which costs $89 or about £69, or the enhanced version, which costs about $149 or £116. This is a lot more expensive than many other single board computers. But for that, you get a killer feature, which is that this single board computer, which is made by DF Robot, this single board computer has got an x86 processor, a quad-core Z8300 Atom CPU, clocked at up to 1.44 gigahertz. On top of that, it's got 100 megabit Ethernet. Like the previous two boards I've shown you, it's got Wi-Fi on, on the board and also it's got Bluetooth on the board, also like the Tinkerboard. And it comes with either two gigabytes of RAM on the standard board or four gigabytes of RAM on the enhanced board. And you also get onboard flash storage, either 32 or 64 gigabytes. So this is a great, I think, general purpose computer. It can take a lot of the things you can throw at it, like the Tinkerboard, it could be a great media player, but it's much more than that. If you want to have a small Windows-based computer, then in my view at the moment, the Latte Panda is the board to go for.
Moving from the Latte Panda, which is the most expensive and the physically largest single board computer on this list, we come to the smallest and the cheapest computer here, which is the Raspberry Pi Zero W. This has got a street price of about £10 or $10, and it's based on a BCM2835 system on a chip, which means it has a single core ARM 11 76JZFS CPU, the most difficult CPU to say in the world, I think, which is clocked up to one gigahertz. And it's also got a video four core GPU. The board's not that powerful compared to the others here. It's got a 512 megabytes of DDR2 RAM, and it's got a one USB OTG port in addition to the port we use to power the board, but it has got onboard Wi-Fi and onboard Bluetooth. So you can do an awful lot with this tiny little board, a great board for things like robotics, as I've been showing on this channel, and will continue to show on this channel. Because it's a Raspberry Pi, it runs all kinds of available Linux distributions, Raspbian and, and many others, and it's got fantastic support. And so in my view right now, the Raspberry Pi Zero W is the ultimate low cost and miniature single board computer. So, can you guess which single board computer will be at the top of my list? Well, I'm sure you can. We're gonna move from a Raspberry Pi Zero W to the Raspberry Pi 3, which is currently, I think, in my view and most other people's view, the king of single board computers. It's not the best feature board on the list, it's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive either. But if you don't know which single board computer to get, you'll never go far wrong with a Raspberry Pi 3. The street price of a Pi 3 is about $40 or £34, and it comes with a BCM2837 system on a chip, with an ARM Cortex A53 quad-core CPU, which is clocked at up to 1.2 gigahertz. And it's also got a video core for GPU. In terms of RAM, we have one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, and we've got uh, four USB ports over there, all USB 2, and we've also got onboard Wi-Fi and onboard Bluetooth, and it's got Ethernet, it's 100 megabit Ethernet, not the gigabit on some of the other boards, but it's perfectly sufficient. And the great thing about the Pi is it's a really reliable mass-use platform. It runs lots of versions of Linux, it runs Raspbian, you can run Ubuntu Mate, which is really nice on it. All sorts of other operating systems are available. Lots of support out there if you're trying to get into a Raspberry Pi 3. So this, in my view, has to be the king of single board computers. So let's put it down next to its other single board computer friends. And there we are. My top five single board computers 2017. So there we are, my top five single board computers 2017. Now, there are of course lots of other single board computers on the market at both the high end and the low end of the price range, and I've looked at some of those on this channel in the past, and I'll look at others on the channel in the future. But I can only get five on my list, and my top five is, well, it's my top five. But of course, you might have other views. And if you do, if you think I've missed something out or I've actually praised something too highly or something like that, please let us all know in a nice polite way down in the comments section. We know that we all here like talking about single board computers. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.